everyone is staying socially distanced and safe um, and that everybody's healthy. Um, I thought I would do one more video with exterior eggs because I had a few people tell me that they would like to see a little bit about exterior eggs. So since we have the pictures from the 2019 National FFA um, comp, petition, we I went ahead and put together another little PowerPoint and I'm going to go through and kind of explain a few things about exterior eggs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen at this time. Uh, and I think it is working. Am I correct? Is everything? No, it's not, it's not sharing yet. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me, I might have not pressed the right button. Anyway. Uh, yeah. With okay, the you gotta. Yeah, well, your entire screen, yes. Dismiss. Is it? There it goes. Okay, I got it now. All right. And yep. this. There we go. All right. Good deal. Um, so this is uh, the exterior egg factors. And since our contest since last year, we decided to adopt the national uh, FFA format for exterior eggs, whereas at one point we only just determined quality grades. Now we actually have the written factors um, involved, which I think is a good idea from the standpoint of it makes it a little more um, uh what you'd call that a uh, higher order thinking. Um, so that way students have the opportunity to explain and they're not just guessing right, they have to tell you what's right. And so I think that's important and where we kind of move into in education. So I thought this was actually a good addition. Um, what I did first was gave you, um, again, the resources, um, the same manual that we use for ready to cook and the placing class and stuff, it has everything, this poultry science manual. And like I said, it's like 70 bucks. Um, you can get one and it's pretty easy to copy. So I, that's kind of what I do. I copy most of what's important, um, except for the kids that go to nationals. Those kids, I actually get them a copy of the book because I need them to study everything, all the material in the book, because that's where the national test comes from. This is a link to the website. Also, the egg grading manual. Um, I use this a little bit, but I actually used it to contact egg grading. And I'll talk about that when I do interior eggs, because you might want to contact them if you don't have the card for interior egg grading, but I'm, I'm, I'll talk about that later. This is the Scantron, which I put up a picture of it just so you could kind of see. I do this for my students so they can see it. Um, I think it makes it just a little easier in the first few times that we actually judge exterior eggs. I make them do this first and we go through it. So checked, dented, checked, and leaker. I explain those and tell them that it's a no grade and make them highlight it in different colors. That way they can see the difference as they go through and they score 10 eggs. Um, slight to moderate stain is gonna be a B. Prominent stain adhering dirt for materials, no grade. Seven through 11, they're all Bs. And then 12 is no defect, which is gonna be a double A or an A. So I like to do this because it gives them a visual on what they're looking for. So probably the first three or four times we practice, um, I'm going to use this for my students and like we will actually go through that way they get to learn, you know, they might be able to see that it's dented checked or slight moderate stain, but if they don't remember what, what quality grade that gives it, then it does them no good. Um, so this is kind of where we go through first and what we look at and out, I'll just go and recap these one more time. Checked is going to be just a little, it's going to be a crack in the egg, basically. Um, dented check means just that, that it's dented and it's checked. Now, do you check both of them? No. If it is dented checked, that's all. You, you don't have to select checked and dented checked. All you're going to do is select dented check. And last one is leaker. Number three is leaker. And that's going to be the same issue. Like if it becomes a leaker, that means that fluid is actually leaking out of the egg. And if it is a leaker, you don't have to check. Then it checked or checked. You're just going to do leaker. And some people, if you keep in your mind, checked means cracked. Okay. Slight to moderate stain. They give you like 
uh, if you look in the, the poultry science manual or if you look in the egg grading manual, it'll tell you like it's like a 30 second of the shell. So the staining is going to be very minimal. It's going to be very light. You're not going to have any raised surfaces because when you start having raised surfaces, that means it's foreign material. It's adhering dirt. So we have a prominent stain. And I can't remember if it's over a 30 second or it's it's a certain or a 16th, something like that of the egg. And that'll actually downgrade it to a B. But you'll see the staining. It'll just look dark in color. Um, and again, that's going to be your prominent stains will move you into no grade. We have adhering dirt for our material. Anything that's sticking on the egg, that should not be. Whether it be egg yolk. Um, egg white. And sometimes you have to be careful with egg white because when it kind of dries on the egg, it's hard to see. You kind of have to look at an angle. I try to teach my students that not so they get to be like overzealous and start being too critical, but so they can actually see the, uh, sh which, which is the egg white, the albumin that's actually sticking to the outside of the egg. Uh, but any fecal material, um, I, one time I remember seeing a feather on the egg, it's foreign material. So anything that shouldn't be on there that is, it's gonna be foreign material and it's gonna be a no grade. Then you have seven through 11, which are all considered Bs, decidedly misshapen, large calcium deposits, body checks, pronounced ridges um, and pronounced thin spots. So I get some questions with what a body check is because again, check, up at the top means it's got a crack. So body check, you would think it's that's a crack too. And it sort of is. What happens with a body check is that it was actually cracked inside the hen and she healed it. So you can still see where it's at. And it usually occurs around the equator of the egg or the center of the egg. And it's going to be like circular. Sometimes it'll kind of make the egg actually raise, like the shell will actually look a little raised. And I have a couple of pictures of that that I will show you when we go through the pictures of the egg in a minute, you'll be able to look at it. Um, then I also get questions about pronounced thin spots where like what makes it a thin spot because sometimes you'll have eggs that have windows little bitty windows all like pin head size all around the egg but a pronounced thin spot is going to be like i'm going to go bigger than the size of like a, a, a pencil eraser l l actually a little larger than that is what you that's when you, when it's one solid spot that's what's going to look like a pronounced thin spot and then of course we have no defect remind your students if it's no defect, make sure you mark it a double AA and make sure you bubble in no defect. Like, don't forget either one of those. Um, can I make a comment? Yes, you can. Go I back to that slide. Yes, sir. Please don't have your students write this on their scorecard for two reasons. One, we have a rule against it, uh, specifically in the rules that there are no notes to be taken on a scorecard. And two, it's not going to run through the machine correctly if you've got this extra writing over the the bubbled in areas on scantron that is correct i do it in practice only and then we then after a couple of times they they don't need to do it anymore but that is correct it will yeah you can't have it on the scantron agreed all right so when we're looking at egg number one um here i didn't actually look at any of these i'm going to say that i definitely see staining here and I see some staining on the end. And what I've done is kind of put the egg up close so you can kind of see it. And then I went ahead and it's it's prominent staining, non-gradable. So I'll go back really quick. If you look at the size, the staining is all through here. And then it has another large spot all right here. That's going to exceed that amount and make it prominent. It won't be slight to moderate. It's definitely going to be a prominent stain here. And it's not just so much that the darkness of it, but it's the size of it that counts too. And so that's going to be prominent staining, non-gradable. And when you look at this egg here, um, I'm pretty certain this one is going to be no defect. I'm not seeing anything unless there's something on the sides, which that makes it really difficult from the pictures because it's a lot easier to see these in person than, than the pictures have it. But number two is no defect, not seeing anything. And again, Nationals is not they're not really trying to cause any problems or, or have problems with you. This is another thing at nationals you will see a lot of times they do have a brown egg um, and or they'll have one or two in the contest. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with it. Sometimes there's just as much wrong with it as anything else. Um, when I look at it, I'm pretty sure that this is no defect. Yeah, there it is. Um, nothing wrong with this one. 
here. Definitely going to have calcium deposits here. I'm not seeing anything else um, on the egg. It might have some shape issues, maybe like misshapen because it doesn't look like a, a circle egg, but I don't know if he took a picture more at an angle. Um, but we definitely can see the calcium deposits here. And that one is just large calcium deposits. And I've been asked a number of times, um, how many defects will we have? A maximum on the defects is going to be three. Like you're not going to really have any more from a point standpoint. You're not going to have any more than three points to like three things wrong for the points for the egg. But it's usually sometimes they'll have one, but then sometimes they can have two to three. And I was also asked, Whichever one makes it the lowest grade. So like, for instance, if it was adhering dirt and foreign material, it would automatically be a no grade. But if it had large calcium deposits, you would still mark that as well. So you're going to mark any defects that it has. But the one that's the worst that downgrades it the most, that's what the grade of the egg would be. Um, pretty certain this is probably going to be some ridges. This might be some farm material, definitely a calcium spot right here. So this one it definitely has two to three things wrong. Okay. So it says large calcium deposits. This might not be a spot. Then that might be my computer. Um, decidedly misshapen and pronounced ridges. I can't see th the misshape in this particular egg, but I bet when you turn to an angle, you can see where it's either flat or it's kind of crooked. Um, I was always taught that like, if it's got the large end and a smaller end and it still looks like an egg, it's still an egg. But again, if you're not seeing both from this from the side or from an angle, it makes it a little difficult to see, but you can definitely see the ridges in here and you can see the calcium deposits, but all of it's still keeping it a B egg. Here's no defect. You see one little, little mark here. This is a cage mark. And, but again, that would be considered probably not, not enough even to make it a slight stain. So it's going to stay in a no defect. Um, this is going to have these ridges. You can see them all here, right here. You have foreign material, uh, which would make it no grade. So you're going to mark those. And then here is another brown egg, which is definitely going to happen occasionally, especially at the national contest. Um, this is a crack. This is going to be checked. OK, it's not dented. It's not pushed in anything like that. So it's just cracked. So we're going to mark this check, but it is non-gradable. And here are the infamous uh, body checks that we talk about right here. You can see this in the middle right here. And I, it's kind of difficult to see some of the little lines, but you can see the little lines to where it almost looked like it would be checked, but it's this is a body check. It's occurring in that equator right through here in the middle of that egg. And that's going to be, um, oh, it also has adhering dirt for our material. Might be here. I'm not sure exactly where. So it's going to be non-gradable. Uh, the body, if it was just the body checked, it would have been a B. But since there's some foreign material there, it's not ungradable. And 10, again, I see the body checks here. Cross that equator, that egg. And then that is going to make it a B. And that's the only issue with that one. So if you look back at these, most of these eggs basically just had one to two issues. Uh, we had one of them that had three. So at any time, they can have a few issues with the eggs. Um, I also, just for you to see, I had taken it for my students. I had done this, uh, I, I put it on a Word document, but just looking at what sometimes body checks will do, uh, they will, they can sometimes cause the, the cracks here. And you see, sometimes this will make a little bubble, like our little bump in the shell. Now you wouldn't call this misshapen because the body check is causing that. So that's just like ridges. Sometimes people want to mark ridges as misshapen, but not, if the ridges is not causing the misshape, is causing it to be misshapen, then it's just ridges, it's not misshapen. Um, and then just from a candling aspect, this is kind of what uh, the body check actually looks like. Notice how it's around the equator, that egg. So again, if you have any questions about it, this is, um, where our material all comes from. Again, when you practice looking at this, make sure you use this Scantron when you practice with your students. And like Dr. Smith says, don't mark on it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions about it. All right.